So this is my Apple Watch, and this is my girlfriend's crack screen Apple Watch. It's cracked again, that's right, for the second time. So we've been thinking and talking it over, maybe it's time for her to go to another brand. Not me, I'm sticking with Apple, and that's what this video is about. Really, who makes the most durable screen? First thing I did is go to the internet to do some research. I asked Reddit on some of the communities that I follow, asked some Facebook groups, what fitness enthusiasts recommend on what is a trusted brand that is durable. Everyone was indicating that we should go with a Garmin. I went on Reddit and I'll read you some of the responses. Someone said, get ready for a whole bunch of Garmin responses. Anyone who is serious or even semi-serious will recommend Garmin. So I go to Garmin's website and I see so many different watch models and they also have different glass materials. So which screen is more durable? Well, it's not as easy as saying that one is stronger over the other. So instead, let's write this down. Stay with me, I'm gonna simplify this. You might recall learning something called the Mohs scale which is how they measure when one mineral has the ability to scratch another mineral. Talc registers at a level 1 and diamond registers at a level 10. Results. Let's talk about it. Keep in mind the Moss scale. Apple uses two types of glasses. They use Ion X glass rated at a level 5. This is found in the aluminum bodies of your Apple Watch Series 7, SE, Apple Watch Series 6. Sapphire Crystal, rated at a level 9, and this is on the titanium and the stainless steel bodies. Now Garmin has a lot of different watch models. They offer Chemically Strengthened Glass, rated at a 4. Corning Gorilla Glass, rated at a 7. Corning Gorilla Glass DX rated at an 8. Power Sapphire rated at a level 9. So let's take these and let's graph them from least to greatest on a durability test. Disregarding Garmin's chemically strengthened glass, because this one really shouldn't be on the list, it's from an older model. But if you take a look at Garmin's Gorilla Glass, it offers in their entire lineup a stronger, more durable glass than Apple's most popular watch, which is going to be made out of the Ion X glass, which is on the Apple Watch Series 7, Apple Watch uh, Series SE, and Apple Watch Series 6 that are on sale. So overall, Garmin's lineup is going to be more durable than your standard Apple Watch. Now of course Apple does offer the Sapphire Crystal but that's going to be on the higher end models. But then someone on Facebook commented and I'll read you, his name is um, well I'll put it right over here I can't pronounce his name but he said Sapphire will not solve the problem she cracks it not scratches it. So this got me thinking that the MAW test is the durability of one mineral scratching another mineral. And does that really measure the test if the device is going to be stronger against cracks? Because after all, we're talking about cracks, not necessarily scratches. I saw some tests that were done from Ubreak, iFix, and I'll attach the video and the information in the description below if you want to look at it. But basically, that sapphire is stronger than any type of glass, but because of its brittleness, there won't really be much net benefit when it comes to impact. Which is why we don't really see sapphire displays on our phones or on our larger devices, iPads. Not just because there's not much improvement in durability, but also just because that would make the price of the devices much, much higher. That being said though, with the help of the online community, I decided to order my girlfriend a Garmin watch. So the Garmin watch arrived today and I haven't surprised her with it yet, but I wanted to make sure I ordered her a watch that had Gorilla Glass since we learned that it was tougher than Apple's Ion X glass. Again, Apple displays, they're great. They've gone a long way, but especially with that curvature, 
on them that also makes them more prone to cracks. So we're gonna try out the Garmin. I'm gonna open it and surprise her with it. If you do have an Apple Watch though, check out these videos that I'll attach right over here. I have a whole playlist where I go over Apple Watch hacks for fitness and different things that you might enjoy. If you do like this video, consider subscribing and hitting that like button. It helps me a lot. But I'll see you on next week's videos on these Fitness Tech Fridays. Bye.